Hi there, welcome back to our video series of building recommendation systems with TensorFlow. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate at Google. In this episode, we're going to talk about two interesting topics our users have been asking us about, item-to-item -item recommendation and sequential recommendation. We're going to show you how to do this using TF recommenders. In our basic retrieval tutorial, we created a two-tower model, one tower for the user and the other tower for the movie. But for some applications, for example, product detail pages, it's very common to perform item to item, for example, movie to movie or product to product recommendations. You can still use the two tower model for this purpose. In this case, we would have two item towers, one for the query and the other for candidate item. And train the model using query item candidate item pairs. The training data could be constructed from clicks on product detail pages, for example. Please visit this link for more information on this. So that's item to item recommendation. Another type of recommendation is sequential recommendation. Sequential recommendation is a popular model that looks at a sequence of items that users have interacted with previously and then predicts the next item. Here's an example. A user might watch four movies in a row. Now you want to recommend the fifth movie to that user. Here the sequence of four previous movies is the context features. In this case, we're still going to use the two-tower model, but we are going to use a GRU layer to encode the sequence. Recurrent layer like GRU, which is short for gated recurrent unit, it's good for modeling the sequential relationships among the items. We will have a good representation for the user's preference in this case. Let's walk through some code to show how to do this. First, we need to prepare the training data by populating sequences of movie IDs and label movie IDs. To do that, we are going to download a utility file from the TensorFlow Lite recommendation reference app. After the download is complete, we run this command here. The script will download the movie lens dataset, group movie ratings by user, and order per user movie rating records by timestamp. At the end, we get a TF record file. The TF record file will contain context movie ID and label movie ID, plus some other features. We are going to parse this file and extract the context movie IDs and label movie IDs here. After parsing, here's a training example. You can see that we have a sequence of 10 movie IDs as our context features and a label movie ID as our label. Now we can build our query tower. The only thing different from our previous retrieval example here is this new GRU layer, which models the sequential relationship among the context movie IDs. The candidate tower is exactly the same as before. Now we put everything together in the full TFRS model. Note that we are turning off matrix computation during training here for faster speed. We use fit method to train the model as before. The accuracies here are all zero because we have turned it off for training in the previous step, but the loss keeps decreasing. So that's it. We have shown you how to do item to item recommendation and sequential recommendation with TF recommenders. Please check out the reference links here to learn more about them. In our next episode, we are going to discuss on-device recommendation, which runs purely on mobile devices. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. <laughs>